what's up everyone? This is OK Chief. And I am Will. And we are here, and my friend Austin's here too. And Austin, this is the wrong way. Yeah, I saw that next exit. <laughs> so we're gonna check out Bussy's Flea Market here in, uh, right outside of San Antonio, Texas. It's this real cool spot. A lot of people oh, know, know to come this. here. Wow, there's a lot of people here. Should've showed up earlier. Wow, look at all the people. This guy's got an awesome beard. Look at all those people. Everybody. Quick yell out there, okay Chief's here. Oh, that's a lot of people, dude. Lots of people. That's a lot of people. More people parking. Mm -hmm. That sign says knobs and pools. That's oh, what yeah. she said. And only a dollar. Look at this. A dollar to park. Which is not bad. Nope. We have a dollar. I have a dollar. So we will see you guys inside. Hopefully there will be some good stuff to choose from. It is packed, so I highly, highly doubt it. Hey, hey, hey. Positive thinking. Positive thinking. We'll be back, everyone. Here is an overview of the entire place. It's huge. Look at the parking lot. Look how far back it goes. It goes way... We're parked, like, way over there. And then down the hill, and then that's all of the flea market. It's huge. It's going to be fun. It's going to be fun. Let's go check this place out. How much for just the mannequin head? <laughs> Five dollars. What do you have in trade? What do you got in your pocket? Nice Oh, dude, look, Jesse. Especially with newer movies. What do you think? Oh. Warlords. How much are they? I don't know. Can't be much. GBA, Bomberman Max. Huh. That is Jean-Luc Picard, <laughs> my all-time favorite starship captain. God, he's beautiful. And he's Xavier. Yeah, he's Xavier. And he's bald. Bald sexy. Oh, nice. Peg leg. <laughs> it's, his name's Eileen. When you get like at a, um, what do you call that thing, at a motel? It's a touch. Oh, uh, yeah. you gotta put the quarter in. That's pretty cool. Be sucky to play a video game system on here, though. You'd be putting quarters every 10 minutes in. So far, no, what's the deal? No, check this out. Nice. And look, it used to be, I guess they're 25 cents each, or a 10 for a dollar. That's an old one, I don't know. How much are they if you have less than 10? <laughs> what would you get? What would I? What would you charge me for these two guys? That fifty cents. All right. Okay. That's a good deal. That will work. Oh, shredder. They stuck. No trag. Wing nuts. Mucus. Oh, and it's just got the top. Splinter. Dingus frog. A different type of shredder. Panda. Oh, Yusagi Ojimbo. No, that's Muck. Muck something. I can't remember his name. Look at a Donatello. Oh. Mondo Gecko. This is the Super Mario Brothers from the movie. Bob Hoskins. That's pretty cool. Same guy that played old Bilbo. Was it? Uh -huh. No. Bob Hoskins. No. I'll do all I am. <laughs> you have to use your imagination. What's that? Imagination. Oh, dude, I had these when I was a kid. <sighs> They're so nice.
Look at all the toys. No, his his claws are going to grow back. It's just a matter of recasing them in adamantium. Spoiler alert. Don't mind the nerd talk. <laughs> We're just admiring all the awesome toys. Look at this. Just bins and bins and bins of it, bro. And bins. Uh, this is like your paradise right here. Dude, it's... it's Oh, is that Rambo? <laughs> yeah. With a different leg, look. <laughs> <laughs> That's Wolverine's left leg. Oh. Cyborg. And dude, there's so much here, it's unreal. We got a lot of looking to do. I'm angry! <laughs> Fall asleep. <laughs> Not you, I Yeah, I was gonna say, he's talking to me. Whatever. <laughs> wow, there's a lot of people today, bro. She wanted me to hold her deep down inside. <laughs> this awesome wall. This is my favorite wall so far. I mean, oh, look at that helmet, though. That's you have cool. the, the sword from Halo, which everyone lusted after. <laughs> That's a dope ass sword. It is. The Predator mask is awesome. Uh, That's the 300. 300. And also the, the Spartan shield. I'm going to come home on that. Ha <laughs> ha. <laughs> and all this. Zelda. Master. Iron Man mask over here. Oh my god, they have a Zelda shield! Oh no! <laughs> Link, listen! What do we got? All sports titles. All sports titles. All sports. Celine Dion's perfume, though. Nothing worth getting. I saw that. What is that? Magic. Let me see. Oh wow. Is that all magic? Five dollars a box? That's five dollars a box? It's not bad. I'm gonna take these to, uh, I know, you know what I'm saying? From uh, Heroes and Fantasies, right? Yeah, yeah. And I'll have a few of the other ones I'll throw them in. Cabbage Patch Kids toy, the, the, and the E.T. Nice. Look at the old Monopoly. Wow. You see the Pokemon one, though. What? The Pokemon one? Oh. There we go. You said if I bought one, you threw in a couple old ones for me? Yeah. I'll give it to you. Oh, okay. They're always here. They get the few. It's not very many. It's not a bad thing. It's always elephant cards and yeah. trainer cards. Let's see what we got. This is to sweeten the deck. All right. Not bad. Not bad at all. Let's go. Nice. I remember that one. That's a great one. That's a good one. You don't you don't even play a main character, you play a like a bounty hunter. I'm a bounty hunter. His ship was the Outrigger on Star Wars Show of the Empire, and it was rumored that supposedly it could beat the Millennium Falcon. <laughs> <laughs> this is really cool. I get knocked down. Plus the case. That's cool. 
I like that. Finally made it outside, out of the tents, and we're outside in the open market. About to check out some awesome stuff. I don't know if there's anything left at this time. It's about 1 o'clock, and 1 o'clock flea market time. Might as well just be closing time. Yeah. So we'll it's go. The Snickel Fritz is all that's left. Uh. It's Princess Amidala. They're so cheap that they don't even put the secondary one, just the head with cardboard. Oh, look that oh, one. Queen Amidala. Oh, oh, wow. Oh, I'm a dollar freak here. How much? How much for that sword? <laughs> Chew that. You can pull it out, it's just a hilt. <laughs> yeah, that's crap. It's crap. From the Bugs Life. Isn't he like an evil general thingy? Oh, look at the Matrix. That's cool. Oh, the code. That's when his... Oh, and his mouth got his mouth, oh, and yeah. then, oh, and then when they took the bug out of his stomach? Oh, yeah. <laughs> this is going to hurt. Agent Smith in code. That is so cool. I've never seen one like that. You never see the code one. That's cool. Remember him? He died tank. Yeah. Didn't he die? Yeah, first one. That's pretty cool. Finished up our day here <laughs> at Bussy's Flea Market. Came out with some good stuff. Yeah, lots of. I'll show you. I'll show you everything when we get back to the truck. Came out with a lot of stuff. Yeah, it's a good trip. Good trip. Came in with some trade bait. And we were we were scared that you know being last day we kind of got here a little late, but no, it came out with some good stuff. Were decent. So we'll show you when we get back to the truck. What's up everyone? So we are back from our day at flea marketing, at Bussy's Flea Market here, right outside San Antonio. And uh, this is, you hear that? The glorious sounds of cartridges. Mm. You hear that? That's awesome. Making sweet cartridge love in there. <sighs> we picked up so much stuff. I brought so much trade bait. So there's a guy in there that takes trades. And I brought a bunch of games prior, took them in there, and I got a bunch of stuff in return. So let's go ahead and show you all the goodies that we came out with. Cheapies, there's a lot of cheapies in here. Stuff I picked up for a dollar. And uh, something like I picked up for a dollar, NBA Jam for the Genesis, a dollar. How can you beat that for a dollar, dude? You can't. You can't beat that for a dollar. Um, another one we picked up, not for a dollar. <laughs> Back to the Future. I, part three, I couldn't leave this there, dude. No. This was too nice to leave. And look at that blue, and look at the blue lettering. That's pretty cool, isn't it? That is nice. I've never seen blue lettering on the game before, on a Genesis game before, or yellow lettering. Blue label, that's pretty cool. Definitely. I like, yeah, that was definitely a good pickup there. Uh, let's see, I picked up this weird PowerJoy PT-1001. I don't know exactly, this is for a Famicom, it's a, a Famicom cart. I don't know what it is or what it does. So I'm going to go home and check it out. I took a chance on this. I don't know what it is. Picked up a Mo Super Mario's All-Star on the cheap. Nice. Picked up a Killer Instinct on the cheap. Nice. Picked up a Krusty's uh, Super Fun House. Nice. Picked up an N64 Rugrat Scavenger Hunt. This was like less than a dollar. Picked up a Fatal Fury. Nice. Like I said, these were on the cheap, man. The labels look really good. Yeah, Star Fox. Not Star Fox 64. Not the good one. Not the good one. <laughs> this was not the good one by no means. And some crusty ass game for Uni. It's called Una Racers. Una. Una Racers. Una Racers. Um, I did pick up a really good one, which I will leave towards the end. Um, picked up this sealed Game Shark for the Sega Saturn. It's called the Video Game Enhancer. It's sealed. Enhance. Enhance. Just print the damn thing. And Will bought me this one that I was missing, a minion with the gun here from McDonald's. 
Uh, Pretty cool. Gets me hot when he does that. <laughs> I'm still missing the one with the banana. That's kind of our thing. We find those Minions everywhere. everywhere. We and then, I don't know what this is. It's Crash Bandicoot. But uh, you open it up, and it's some type of handheld, right? handheld game. Uh, it looks like it takes batteries. I'm not quite... Well, yeah. unless it has a solar panel, I'm yeah. assuming. <laughs> it, it takes some type of batteries, but it's a handheld game. And it's from it's Crash Bandicoot. It looks really cool. Nice. Couldn't beat that. And then last for the games, but certainly not least, I brought in a bunch of trade bait to this guy. And he accepted it. And he gave me this Final Fantasy 3 for all the stuff that I traded in, and uh, he hooked it up with this nice copy of Final Fantasy. Beautiful. I, as you can see, it was for $45, but I brought in a lot of trade bait. Um, cheapies, a lot of doubles, a lot of stuff that I normally wouldn't, you know, keep around. Right. So I traded it for him for uh, Final Fantasy 3. And it's a pristine, pristine label. Pristine label condition one. So yeah, that was nice. And then last but not least, on the cheap, not really cheap, I picked up a Sega Saturn. Uh, it was just sitting there, beautiful condition. Uh, the guy wanted, uh, I don't remember what he wanted, something like 60 bucks for it. I got him down to like 40 with the cables. Dynacables. Dynacables. See, it came with the cables. And that's why I picked up the enhancer for because I just picked up the Saturn. Right. So that's what we picked up here all day. We spent all day here. At uh, Bussy's Flea Market, it was so much fun. It was really super freaking crowded. The parking lot is full to the max. It took us a long time to find a parking spot. But we're done now. And uh, Will picked up some stuff, too. Yeah, you show I got, stuff? got a few things. These were, uh, I found, was this lady selling these toys. Uh, it was 10 for a dollar or a quarter a piece. I found a really cool Thai bomber. That's dope. It just looked really cool. And for a quarter, you can't beat it. Uh, a little Pikachu. Pika Pika? <laughs> pika Pika. Uh, I also picked up for a quarter Penguin. Penguin. <laughs> a little beat up, but, but you know. For a quarter, you can't beat it. Batman just kicked his ass. And I love these guys, so I had to pick it up. Troll. troll. I love Troll. And this one has batteries, and his eyes light up. He has a little button. I've never seen that before. That's pretty cool. And uh, then. This was two dollars. I thought he was gonna go higher. I was gonna tell him I only have three dollars, but he just said came out and said two. I love vintage type uh, lunch boxes. I have a Dick Tracy one that's awesome. Speed Racer, <laughs> and I love the fact that it's patinaed. It looks a little rusty. It's uh, no thermal. Some ass, <laughs> yeah, you know, some asshole. Oh, but I'll take a blow dryer. It, it, it and, gives a good character. Yeah, I'll take a blow dryer and get that off. That's what she said. And this was one of my favorite books from when I was little. I asked him how much. He thought it was a booklet, like a gaming booklet. He charged me 50 cents. I don't know if any of y'all know this, but it's a historical fiction. Anyway, that's not as important. <laughs> but this is what's really this cool. This is what I love. This old sweet old lady probably didn't know what she had. I looked through it. Well worth it. These were $5 a piece full of magic, of card. magic cards. Both of them were full. So I asked her what her bottom dollar was for the both. If I picked up both, she said eight. I said yes. Yes, and, and she threw in some more cards. And she threw in. She goes, oh, I have these that wouldn't fit in there. You can have them. Sweet in the pot. They're a little, I hear they're a little rarer. So she threw in these two. And I was like, you're awesome. I'm going to tongue kiss you, you old lady. She was pretty hot. She was hot for 80. <laughs> she wasn't. No. <laughs> <laughs> and that's what you picked up? That's what I got. Yeah, you know? pretty good day all together. Yeah, so far, it's been good ones. So. Yeah. So that's all our pickups for this day, this morning of Sunday, our day of our Lord of 1987. No, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, there you have it, everyone. Uh, until the next one, until our next outing and adventure, this is OKG420. Okay Will. Peace out, y'all. Bye.